Today's video is going to stand as somewhat of a supplemental video to a video I did just a few weeks that was relatively popular. That video was concerning five things you should never say to someone waiting on transplant. These are four more I pulled out of the comments and just wow. Number one, and I hear this one a lot. I don't know how you do it. Well, the answer to that question is, I don't know how I do it, but I know this, what I do right now to try to survive in life is exactly for that reason. This is a life and death scenario, and if I don't do what I do, I'm going to die. Try that one on. Number two, I'm sorry to hear that you're in such bad shape. Wow, I personally have never heard that one, but I actually had someone comment in the video the other day who said when they were in kidney failure and in the emergency room, they had a good friend of theirs walk in and say, wow, man, this is bad, this is bad. <laughs> Just don't point that out. If we're in an organ failure situation where we've gotten to the point of needing a transplant, we already know it's bad, and we do not need anyone pointing that out. Try to help us see the bright side because, honestly, right now, we're having a tough time doing that. Number three, and this is probably the most popular, you don't even look sick. Well, of course I don't look sick. I'm doing everything I can to survive right now, and for that, I'm putting on a front. As I like to call it, I'm trying to fake it till I make it. So I may not look sick, but you see, my issues are on the inside. I'm not someone who has lost a limb in an accident. I'm not someone who's been crippled by some debilitating disease where my arms and legs don't work. Many times as a transplant patient, and most of the time it is, our problems are definitely on the inside, and they're hard to be noticed, especially if you don't know what to look for. Number four, and this is absolutely the worst, I'm glad it's you and not me. Wow, how can another human being say that? How can you be so selfish, so self-consumed to say something like, I'm glad it's you and not me? Shouldn't you turn that one on its head and say something much more kind like, I wish it were me and not you? Wouldn't that be better to say? Here's the truth. I wish it were no one, but it's me. I'll deal with it and I'll make it through life. How about trying to support me instead? If you enjoyed this video and you've not seen the previous video, I'll pop it up here on the screen for just a moment. In addition to that, comment below this video. Tell me some of the worst things you have heard along your pathway as a transplant patient. How maybe sometimes people who meant well discouraged you instead of the opposite. And until next time, stay stronger, my friends.